A new landmark rises at Pleasanton. It is the nation's first privately financed and operated atomic power plant. Leading figures in the atomic world are present for the inauguration ceremonies. Prominent among them is Admiral Lewis L. Straws, chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission. After a welcoming speech by Governor Goodwin Knight, the ceremonies are climaxed when Admiral Straws drills holes for the plaque bearing the plant's license number. Then a tour of the 5,000 kilowatt plant begins with entry of the airlock. Activity in the heavily shielded atomic pile is reflected on the scores of dials as power from a pioneer source begins to flood through the countryside.